<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Lexicon coming at you with another budget commander list. And today we're going to be looking at um, a commander that that is uh, pretty fun to play. Um, that pumps the squad every time we uh, play instant or sorcery. So uh, let's get into it. So the commander is Adelise the Cinderwind. And she's a three mana is it spell. With flying in haste that says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, which is your control, get plus one, plus one. So this is cool because our deck is loaded with uh, sorceries and instants. We have 22 in total. Um, later in the video, we'll get around to what these cards do. But for now, let's just look at the creature package. We have Avon Wind Mage. It's a flyer that also gets it uh, uh, buffed. By uh, each instant and sorcery we cast, Balmore. Some people actually do like playing Balmore as a commander, but at this time we have him in the 99. But it also has one of the same effects, but this one gives us plus one, plus zero, and trample. To the end of the turn, the Cloudkin Seer is in here to draw cards, and it's also a wizard. Dawson of the Perfection is on the heavier side of five mana. But it's a very good card because it's going to generate us uh, human wizards. And most of the time, by this point, um, when we go to... Um, once once we cast our instant or sorcery this turn, that turn, we're going to flip it. And it's going to give all our creatures um, flying. Two, plus two, plus one in flying. And also, it still maintains the same ability. Um... Dreadhorror Arcanist is here to return instance or sorceries from our graveyard to our hand. Um, Electrostatic Infantry is in to get a ton of 1-1 counters on it and give it Trample. And it's also a wizard. Fairy Seer is a 1-mana 1-1 uh, flyer that allows us to scry. Gandalf the Grey is good in here because um, we can choose one that hasn't been chosen and most of the time I think we're going to be using the last ability to put it on top of our library so we can start the shenanigans over and over again. Uh, this is here just to make our sorceries cost one less. Gutter Snipe is in to ping our opponent for uh, damage every time we cast in our sorcery. Another trigger and last prophet, um, master so beginning of our end step, if we cast a non-creature spell, we'll reveal the top five card of our library, and for each card type among non-creature spells you cast this turn, you may put a card of that type from among them revealed into your hand and put the rest on the bottom. This is here just to uh, get pumped if we have um, oil counters on it, and it can't be blocked. Um... This card is here because it's also a wizard, but it gets us to draw cards every time we cast our second spell. Kaza is here because she's a 1-2 with Flying Haste that is also a wizard. And then we can uh, tap her to make a sp uh, instant or sorcery cost X less, where X is the number of wizards we control as this ability resolves. Then we have this... 2-2 two, two Flying with Haste, Murray Mystic to create birds. Uh, this is to buff our wizards and copy a target spell if we flash it in on a stack. Uh, this is just a good 1-1 one, one, uh, one, one Flying uh, Wizard that we can sacrifice to counter a target spell or ability that targets our uh, creature. This is here because it has Prowess and Afflict 2. Sprite Dragon to get bigger every time we cast a non-creature spell. Stony Brook to make our creatures, our wizards cost less. Uh, another Flying Haste but with Prowess to generate 2-2 two -two Drakes, to generate Soldiers, to uh, get pumped, um, to also get pumped, and to make a bunch of 1-1 uh, one -one Red Elemental Creature Tokens. And then for Sorceries, we're playing a bunch of Burn. Uh, we're also playing Draw, uh, and then we have Tormenting Voice to Draw, Wing Words to Draw. Um, for instance, we're going to be playing a Braid, Consider, Counterspell, Flame of Anor, Frantic Search, Impulse, Is It Charm, Negate, Opt, Prismire Command, 
Spell Pierce, throw a possibility, unwind, and Wizard's Lightning, which will become one mana as long as we control a wizard. Um, and if since I didn't explain up what all these cards do, all you have to do is go onto the Moxfield link and just highlight them, and then you'll figure out whatever these cards do, especially if you're a beginner to EDH. Uh, artifacts, we're just running the general uh, rocks in here, but we are playing Midnight Clock. Just because, just because we can uh, eventually, uh, once it gets to 12 counters, we can just shuffle our whole graveyard back into our library and then draw seven cards. Um, as far as enchantments, we're going to be messing around with a really fun call card, uh, Arcane Bombardment. So if you don't know what it does, just read it. Uh, Fire Minds Research is cool because it's going to allow us to draw cards or deal damage to any target for two. Sanctum to make instants and sorceries cost one less. And then whenever we cast instant and sorcery, we'll scry to fairies to draw extra cards. And wizard class is to uh, make sure we have no maximum hand size. We can draw two cards, and then when we draw a card, put a 1 1 counter. And then the land base, uh, I'm not really going to go into too deep an explanation into these. But I will mention uh, the sandbars are good to cycle away, especially if you already have an established mana base. So, as far as uh, our curve, we curve out at 2. We have over 20, per 20 permanents that have a mana value of 2, so this that can get running pretty quickly. As far as our mana splits, we have 71% blue, 43% red, and 12% colorless. And this deck is... Um, a little bit cheaper than the ones I've been doing lately, so it's going to run you about 110 to 120. But um, other than that, the deck looks fun. I'm going to play test it later, and maybe I'll leave a comment on my Moxfield or on my YouTube channel to explain how the game went. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, and check out my channel tomorrow if I do another one.